And did you see the outrage of uh, about Chris Rock's selective outrage uh, Netflix special? Dude, everybody's like, ah, he's going after black women. He called her a bitch. Bah, bah, bah. Fuck that nigga. Shit, that was the funny fucking shit that I ever saw. And he was so emotional at the end of it, right? Because you could see he had tears in his eyes. He was like really in it. And he even messed up the last joke that he was trying to do because he was still fucking reacting as if it was yesterday. You get what I'm saying? Because it fucking hurts. A year later, he says, and it's, it's forever gonna hurt. He's never gonna forget it, you know? Shit, me bro. What the fuck? He deserves to be slapped. And he's a woman, uh, uh, he's insulting all black women and blah, blah. Fucking, these people are still, you know what uh, it occurred to me? Woke is now another word for stupid. You know, oh, I don't have common sense. I'm woke. Oh, I'm, I'm, I don't understand what it, what topics are about. I don't know what comedy is. I'm woke. No, you're fucking stupid. And at the same time, they confirm me exactly what he was talking about. The fucking attention seeking, doing shit just for the attention of it. You know, going on shows, posting stupid nonsense, not thinking it through, going on stupid marches for stupid rights that don't have anything to do with actual uh, human rights or anything you get bringing up arguments that are totally irrelevant and totally illogic in conversations where nobody gives a shit about it nobody asks for it you know all of that (coughs) what he spoke about was exactly is exactly confirmed by the behavior it's exactly confirmed so i don't see the point in you know even thinking of listening to these people, you get what I'm <laughs> And hey, one thing I can say, I don't agree with all these comedians, but they are still funny. I don't agree. I don't have to agree with everything everybody says around me. I made my peace with that when I was young already, you get what I'm saying? So I don't understand why everybody always needs this. Uh, what do they call it? Rainbow and sunshine fucking environment where everybody's Goombaya, you know? Fuck, dude. Like, can, can't you handle a bit of confrontation? Can't you handle a bit of uh, things that are out of alignment with your uh, thinking or your values or your beliefs? Oh, my God. And then they want to be so woke. They want to call themselves woke, but they don't see how intolerant that actually is. Fucking, like, the level of... Really... It's just stupid. I'm sorry. It's just stupidity. There's nothing woke about it. You know, when we when we uh, make our movie, we need to do the same thing that these uh, idiots in the uh, USA do with the feminism. You get? Because the, these women, they do everything. All women that ever, like, appear in any scene always have high heels. And they always dress like fucking whores. You get what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, you know what? Hmm. Okay, if you can do that to women, I can do that for me myself too. Again, I'm so badass bitch. I always, I'm always high. I'm always smoking the bit. Ba- I'm like the Snoop. You get what I'm saying? You always high. You and you can do everything. Well, totally high. You can jump out of fucking sky uh, airplanes of three thousand meters high, smoking a joint, and your and your style and your clothes. They won't even like nothing. You won't get a scratch on it. You get what I'm saying? You can go snowboarding from 2,000 meter height through rough edges or whatever, and all while rolling a joint with your best weed and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? Just like the same like they do. Like, like they must do everything, all the dangerous stuff, the, the most impossible stuff that nobody fucking believes. We're going to do the same with weed to promote herbs. You get what I'm saying? So that everybody knows, listen, the herb is the most awesome thing and every woman is going to be like, oh, okay. So they have their weed and we have our high heels. Exactly. You know how painful it is to always wear heels, how it fucking hurts. These women's uh, neck, back, and uh, their, their feet, their ankles. Like, dude, if you really did everything in high heels, you couldn't fucking move after, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not possible, like, from a health point of already. You understand? It's like those women who like think, oh yeah, let me get big breasts because I can do everything with my big breasts. And then they realize, oh my God, it's a backache problem. 
Like seriously, dude, I don't even know. But maybe the, the like this all comes from the, watching this fucking CSI Miami. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like seriously, can you just make it a little bit more realistic? That would be cool. You know? 